Welcome to episode 948, Can See Network Security Self-Made Billionaire. This is an outline of episode 948. That's quite a big turn, I think. It's a, mm-hmm. uh, it's a, let me just, just try to do something maybe a little bit different. Okay. Another great thing when you're asking questions, is no, when you answer a question is to redefine the question. <laughs> <laughs> And also kind of a more easy to do because I am in the in the network security space. Uh, it's lucky not in the semiconductor or some other space which need a lot of money, a lot of uh, uh, people, technology to do it. So that's where for me is really a it's a network security. You can program something, whether firewall, block some attack, whatever. Right? That's very very easy. Uh, so that's where 20 years ago I, I tried to start in this one, try to make some money. Because for me, I come from China. My parents are professors. They don't make much money. So that's where I try to get something, <laughs> something myself. So that's where the consulting starting get these things going. So Gan Si was born in Beijing, China in 1963. His father is a professor at Tsinghua University. He earned a bachelor and master's degree in electrical engineering there. He earned a master's degree in electrical engineering from Stanford University. I think he dropped out of the PhD program to found three companies before coming back to get his degree. And then also in Stanford. Uh, so I started about five and a half years in Stanford. Uh, uh, supposed to finish a PhD, but I have a job off. Um, Decided started. to make some money instead. Uh, actually, uh, it's a... Uh, not in the early 90s, uh, the, the space growing so fast, so much opportunity, and the whether the distraction or attraction, so uh, made me start my own business. It's by accident. It's originally just helping some friend uh, set up the internet connection and uh, set up some security. But once I have a 20, 30 companies set it up, uh, it's become a business. And they pay me monthly, it's a pretty good income. Then I end up just start my own company. The second network security firm he founded was NetScreen in 1997. It was based on one important innovation using ASIC chips. Application-specific integrated circuit gives NetScreen a huge performance advantage over other firewall vendors. In 2004, NetScreen was acquired by Juniper Network for $4 billion in stocks. It was a big payday for Ken C. In 2000, he co-founded Fortinet with his brother Michael C., he was 37 years old. This is picture of Ken C and his brother Michael C. Michael C was also a graduate of electrical engineering from Tsinghua University. In 2009, Fortinet went public in Nasdaq and has since become the top three network security firm in the world, accounting for 70% of Fortune 100 companies and many governments as its customers. In 2020, Ken C is a billionaire with a net worth of $3.7 billion. His brother Michael C also became a billionaire. The next frontier, AI and Fortinet. Is that the FortiGuard AI is a self-evolving threat detection system. Mm. It uses a machine learning to process incoming threat samples to determine if they are malicious based on the knowledge and the patterns that it learns every day. Wow. So can you elaborate a bit on the volume of data that we're processing and then how it's fed to the Fortinet security fabric? The amount of data that we're processing today is just incredible. So the FortiGuard Labs typically receives over 2 million threat samples each week. And these samples include um, the legitimate applications, uh, some duplicates and variants of the existing malware. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Can See 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.